Okay, next up is the uh, reactance uh, bias or uh, being a contrarian. <clears throat> when we uh, we feel like we're being, because human beings are naturally uh, independent, free uh, thinkers. We, we, we are individuals. We don't like being told, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> what to do. So if we feel we're being unduly pressed to do something, our natural instinct is to resist that. Uh, that part's not the bias we have to be wary of. It's the overcompensation. <clears throat> it's like when we're being forced to do something, our, our inclination is to do the opposite of that. Um, then you're caught up in a reactance uh, bias. Uh, as the saying goes, uh, wisdom is found in reflection and uh, disaster is found in reaction. So wisdom is in reflection. So taking a moment, that all-important stoic pause to make sure you're not overreacting to being um, uh, requested to do something you don't want to do. You don't want to overcompensate and do the exact opposite just because you are caught up in this bias. This is very common uh, in, in adults that were um, maybe um, over uh, authoritative parents or overly rigid parents when they were younger and they kind of developed a, um, a reaction, uh, reactance bias in them to um, feel like they're being told what to do all the time. They'll actually do the opposite of that. Uh, it's not that they're being uh, difficult on purpose. It's just they're caught up in a reactance um, distortion or bias. So it's natural to feel resistance when you're being pressured to do something. That's just human beings are, are, are um, very individualistic, and uh, we're going to resist that. Just be aware of overcompensating just because you're asked uh, or, or um, advised to do something. Don't, get, don't fall prey to your own reactance or contrary uh, bias. <clears throat>